Hello, yes. It is that time of the year when your services and work are done, your programs are winding down. Then what you do, you get ready for the next year. I wanted to give you some ideas to think about things like for choir ropes, for example. I'm wearing an elongated surplus, beautiful. And you would just add a simple scapular to the mix. And you've now got a very simple yet elegant basic choir rope. That's one option. It's very different. Now you all know the usual cassock. Here I'm showing it to you in a beautiful red with gold trim just to be on the fancy side. There's all sorts of things you can do with this. Buttons, fully lined, the usuals that we're known for. So let's say you can do some some very good things. So first of all, we'll add a surplus. And our surpluses are generally round or square, whichever you prefer. Okay? So it's not a surprise. Oh, no wonder it's not all three because where are my shoulders? There's one. I've got it all confused. No wonder. And the beauty of our surpluses, as you know, are the great pleating. It's an old traditional style. Newer ones have less pleating, but this is a standard, very traditional. And that would be very pretty just like that. We can even do it in a blue, almost any color of fabric. And again, it's very simple. But then, it gets very cumbersome. For something like what I'm wearing, the elongated version, you don't have to worry so much about th things underneath. This one gets complicated, but again, let's put a let's put a marvelous surplus, I mean scapular, and we make these in all the liturgical colors and other colors as well. See how stunning that is with the red showing? And it's just wide enough that it will cover up anything you have underneath. So like I'm wearing a t-shirt underneath purposely to show you. See, I'm wearing a t-shirt. You cover it up. This one happens to be reversible. So it can be used for Advent, Feast of Mary, almost anything else. That's very pretty. Or if you want to get very nice, and again, all of our, our surpluses are lined. <coughs> you might decide a red one might be more appropriate. So here's a red one. And again, it is very simple, very traditional. But what else can you do? If that's not to your liking, we can do a marvelous cape. Think about a cape with that. Okay. See, that would be a lot too. But there's some beautiful ideas. So let's see. We talk about a surpluses. We know that. Simple. So let's get just back to buy a cassock. You have a cassock done. And then you add a cape. It now adds distinction to your to what you're working on. Something like that. And see how gorgeous that looks? It adds that dignity that can be with a cape. There's all sorts of stuff that you really can do. But it's time now to think about it. For example, you could do a black one with purple. That's for a bishop, but you could even use that. Solid black. Let me see what else I got here. Maybe a solid purple. That might be nice. Solid purple cassock. Again, standards, buttons, fully lined. We don't skimp on anything here. We make it to your needs. And so again, there are so many things that we could do to help you create a look that is appropriate for your choir. But let's just talk about a simple cassock, gorgeous as they are. Simplest thing to do. What's that? Oh, that's more cassock. All right. We could do that one. Or if you want to get different, 
We have a beautiful white one here with gold and crosses. We can do this in all kinds of colors. It's got a bit of brocade, so we can get as, as, as creative as you want. But let's talk again. So let's say you use a nice gold one like this. Put a, put a scapular again. And it does just say very well, you're giving service to God. You're doing service for God. So that's a great idea, is to ensure that you get a scapular. Now, another idea, let me get one, and this will not, we've never done one, but I'm sure we can learn, and I'm sure we can make this work for you, is keep it simple, keep it very simple, and spend the money elsewhere, for example, on I'm going to show this with you with one of our all our uh, so let's pretend that you did this as a this is actually not a scapula but I wanted you to get the idea you know it could look like that you could fold this we could make one it would be expensive I'm sure but again it could be done it is all up to giving glory to God in your service, in your worship, in your song. So why not? Keep your cassocks simple, keep your undergarments simple, something like that even. Short, but you see how pretty that could be as a, as a, as a surplus. Something like that. There are so many possibilities of what you can do that we here can help you design and think about what it is you want to say with your choir products. But again, I go back to the old standby, the old traditional that everyone knows. And it might be an easy fix, like what I'm wearing. The elongated... A nice comfortable set. Just like that. Very traditional. But I really do think it needs and calls for a scapular as part of that. And remember, this can be embroidered with your church logo, your seal, your crest, initials of your choir, whatever. <coughs> and if you get real creative, then you could give <coughs> your senior members, instead of a stole, instead of a surplus, they could get a cape. huh? They could get a cape. How marvelous would that be? You a cape. Or even a mozetta. I know they're reserved for the bishop, but hey, this is a choir. You could do all sorts of things. We could change it, think about some ideas. Put a mozetta for your, for your senior choir members or someone you want to recognize. <coughs> there are beautiful things that you can do to do so. And now is the time to think about them in the summertime. We hope this has given you some ideas. You can reach us at jessesantiago at psgvestments.com or give us a call. Look on our website at www.psgvestments.com. My phone number's there. Give us a call. I'd be happy to assist you.